Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here in the Survival Heights Season 2 World, my 1.18 Amplified Hardcore Single Player Survival Series. Now, in the previous episode, we started this quarry thing that you guys can see behind me, which many of you seem to really enjoy from the comments that, that I got. And we'll go talk about one of those comments in just a minute. But yeah, we started this. I've been doing some work. You can see a little bit of a amethyst thing geode thing down the corner let's turn around let me show you guys some of the progress that we've actually made here so since that last episode i went through and started putting in a whole bunch more of these caves and you'll see some of the lush caves here you'll see some of the dripstone and you'll see little pockets of little geodes sticking out from time to time as well i went and got a whole bunch more resources so we could actually get a lot of this done so let's check out the geode first there's not much to this one a lot of it is really just, it's made to look like there's a geode sort of sticking out of the side here. So you've got the smooth basalt, you've got some of the calcite, and of course you have the amethyst blocks as well. If we head down here, you should be able to see Lush Cave right here. So a lot of these glow berries here, a few pools here and there. I'm thinking about putting some fish or maybe some of the uh, axolotls. That's right, axolotls. Uh, maybe put some of those in here as well and get, get, get them named and whatnot. And you'll see lanterns and stuff. You'll see a ton of moss around the area. You'll see some clay down where some of the water areas are. And we've pretty much extended this all the way down pretty much to where the transition between uh where, where the old bedrock used to be basically where that transition is so we have made a good bit of progress which is good which is always good to see oh and the other thing as well i should probably mention with these dripstone caves we actually added a ton more of the dripstone like these actual dripstone pillar things here just because i noticed before when we were first doing it it just didn't feel like a dripstone cave without as many of these little spikes as there are so we added more of those and i think it looks a whole lot better so next steps for this is actually down here you can see some of the areas where i've been taking out some of the stuff that's in there we have already up here gone and gotten rid of all the granite and the diorite i'm not really sure if we want to texture this anymore we'll see about that but down here we definitely want to be adding in some of these lush caves oh there's another geo right there by the way <laughs> i forgot to mention that there is an, an, another one right there but we definitely want to going forward add some more of these all the way down to the water level so that's kind of the next steps for this um, i'm deciding what i want to do if i want to put a railing here or not some people have suggested that i put a railing here i kind of like the idea of it being kind of dangerous but we'll see we'll see what, what what i end up doing with that we do want to actually we actually do want to add some more supports to this as well so that's an, another i guess next step for that anyways something else i've been doing and you'll probably have noticed the lag as we go this way as well apologies for that there's a lot of villages over here but this is where we're going because as you'll see this is our little zombie villager purification station area and you'll see there are no more villagers in here we still have our zombie but you'll also see there are no more railroad tracks down here and that is because we have gone ahead we have finally about 99.9% .9 completed this villager trading hall i said it was done once before it wasn't really done we had to do some more stuff with these villagers and get them down to these one emerald trades one emerald and one book trades here so we've gone ahead and done that for every single villager all the way across um, we've cured these with five times we went through all of these and it's looking pretty good. I went ahead and maxed out all these villagers as well, especially these uh, these these li librarians here, so we can see all of their trades. So all their trades are now up on these signs. We see, of course, we've got our mending guy here and our looting three. Some of these did end up with like extra enchants. They're going to be super helpful to have multiple villagers of. So yeah, I've been doing <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff on the stream. I've been doing a lot of this uh, sort of in the background as well on my own, just because I wanted to get this done. As soon as possible i do think that we're going to need to add some vines like you can see there so we can get up and down from here but i'll do that on my own time that's not really a huge priority right now because we can just fly or use ender pearls and whatnot to get onto e each of these ledges but i would say we are pretty much done with this finally it looks complete to me it feels complete and i guess we can take away some of those shulker boxes but apart from that yeah, everything's pretty much complete. Which leads me to the comment that I was talking about a little bit earlier in today's episode. I've decided to do these comments, like I mentioned in the last episode. Um, I decided actually that I'm going to do these comments at the very beginning of the episode if it actually leads into the episode, which this one does. This comment, today's comment, is from a user by the name of Antares Vasto. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but this person said it'd be pretty cool 
where you could add donkeys or llamas to the mine quarry in a way that, that you can use their stores to have them around the trail as you go down, maybe like stations where you can take a donkey or a llama to one location or the other, transporting their items. I think, it, I think it would add to the story. Good stuff, White. Keep it up. And I chose this comment because I really like this, this suggestion. I think it adds a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't quite say interest, but it adds something that's a little bit unique to, to the build. And that's definitely something that I, that I would love to add to a build like that, Corey. Because people build quarries all the time, and I think l little details like that are pretty cool. So it may not make the most practical sense <laughs> uh, if you're actually playing the game in, in hardcore, but I think it's, it's a nice little detail. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of that today. We're gonna go on an expedition today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go find ourselves some llamas, possibly, some donkeys, possibly, and bring them back here and get going with that, along with make progress on the quarry. So that is the goal for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you all will enjoy, sit back, relax, Let's get started. Well, you know how I said sit back and relax? Apparently, I don't know how to relax of what it seems like because it has been over 100 days since the last update. This is turning into kind of an update video of sorts. Uh, we are now past 2,000 days, as you could probably already tell. Uh, that means the 2,000 day tour just went out. If you guys are curious, I'll try to put it in the top right hand corner, give you guys a complete tour of everything that we've done around here. But let's give a little mini tour of all the things that I have done since the last clip. And as you can tell by our giant hole down here, there's been quite a few down here. So the big ones, of course, are these pathways around here and the stables. So over here, you'll see Per the comment for today's episode, there are some donkeys here. We did actually go out, grab some donkeys, and I'm trying to breed up these donkeys because I want to actually put these donkeys in the hole in some places. So it's going to take a little bit of work to get there, a little bit of, of breeding. So we're, we're t taking our time with that a little bit, but um, that is moving right along. And on the other side here, we have another stable. There's two horses here that went out and got. We also have some of the llamas. That I've been breeding as well. I want to use both llamas and donkeys down in this quarry area. Which, speaking of the quarry, you see this pathway right here, this little bridge kind of thing here. The underside here, we have added a few more details to. And once we jump down there, I'll show you why that's important because it adds actually a lot of depth for one, but two, it just feels more full now in the in the quarry. It feels like the quarry is much more done now. So if we head down the staircase here, obviously you guys have seen all of this stuff. You may not have seen that there though. This was another little addition that was made on stream that was basically for adding like these little mine shaft entrances with the, the mine cart with chests here, if you will, where we could add some entrances to different branch mines at different levels here. So that's what these are for. We can go all the way down basically and you'll be able to see these are lined all the way down here at, at different spots. I have used one of these way down here, and that is mainly this one, which is pretty much at Y, negative 56, negative 59, somewhere around there. Uh, and these are the two branch mines I've been using for diamonds, which we've gotten quite a few diamonds from this, actually. It's turned out pretty well so far, but yeah, there's different levels up, up here. I haven't used any of the higher level ones, but we'll use them in, in due time. Anyways, like I was saying, if you look up here now, you can definitely see that ring around there. It just, it feels like there's a lot more added to the area, which I mean, only a little bit in terms of the pathway, but just that little bit of, of added detail adds a ton. You can see some of the fences we use there, obviously the supports, and you'll also see the lanterns we hanging some off of chains, some not, but are the hanging off of those fence posts. And I was told that these fence posts don't really make a lot of sense structurally, but I think that they look pretty. <laughs> they add, like I said, that extra level of detail and uh, we're gonna leave them there just for that fact. So what else have I done around here? I've added a few houses. <laughs> these mini ones here, I, I may have shown these off before as well, but I've been trying to add a few houses here and there, nothing major, nothing earth shattering, no new designs, but just to fill up the area a little bit. We still need to add some lightning rounds and whatnot to them, but yeah, that's pretty much, I think, in terms of the houses and stuff, what we've really done around here. We've mainly been working on that quarry area. That took us quite a while to work on, so uh, adding, adding little details as we go, uh, it's been a blast so far, honestly. However, we're not quite done with this quarry yet, and there's one final thing that I can think of, well, a few final things that I'll continue to work on, but one final thing that I want to do here on this episode, and that is... We have donkeys here, we need to breed them up. We have llamas here, we need to breed those up. 
And I want to put little patches in the wall here where we can have little like almost llama or donkey stations where we could sort of like store our, our horses as we go down. They're not really going to be used, but I think for the aesthetic purposes, it might be a fun thing. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead. Let's get into that. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And I'll bring you guys back for hopefully some sort of progress update in just a moment. So we have an opportunity here, an opportunity to test out a little theory. If I can grab one of these donkeys somehow. Come here, donkey. Come here. Oh, the other one's blocking it. Dang it. You go that way. You come through here. Come here. There we go. But that's not what I wanted to do, but I suppose that works. So the theory I want to test is to see if the donkey can stay on the ledge. I've made a little hidey hole, a little hole down there for this donkey to sit in. Um, but I want to see if the donkey can actually make it all the way down there. It's literally just right there. Or this is going to be a problem. There we go. All right, donkey, can, can you make it? You're going to fall off. Not bad so far, but we're getting to the thinnest parts. Oh, the donkey can't make it through there. Or can you? All right, come on. Yeah, the donkey can't make it through there. Well, I guess it's fine or something. That works. Come here, don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't go away. <laughs> come on, get in here. Come on. Hey, wrong way, dude, this way, come on. Come on, come on. Perfect. So that, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. We have a donkey down here. Actually, if I, oh. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, well, wow. the donkey get on top of there? Interesting. But yeah, we have all these spaces in here where the chest, I attach a chest to this donkey. We can put a saddle on it if we want, but these donkeys really aren't going to move anywhere probably. And so we have we have some storage space in here. It's going to be pretty good. I think I just, I just push it off or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll take this back one and I'll get rid of this. Or maybe I'll just do, let's just do that. <laughs> just in case. I have some more materials on me as well. I do have some coarse dirt and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to see if I can decorate up this cave a little bit. We're going to leave, I think, some of this granite in. Oh, well, actually, no, we'll probably get rid of it. I'm deciding to, I'm deciding to decorate with andesite um, and stone instead of just cobblestone, because we haven't actually used any cobblestone around here. So I don't want to introduce something new. Seriously? Seriously cars these days but yeah I, I didn't want to introduce anything new um down here that we haven't already been using so adding some coarse dirt though we're gonna add in some coarse dirt here as well just because it would make sense i feel like if the donkey were to walk over this there'd be some coarse dirt in here let's go ahead and add in some slabs i'm just like i said just using andesite and stone so we'll add in some andesite and stone slabs okay that's gonna get very annoying donkey please stop that Anyways, <laughs> I think uh, I think this little bit here is pretty much done. We might add a barrel or two maybe as a little storage area, but yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do for the little donkey areas. I need to, I actually probably need to add a lantern here instead of a torch. So we'll do that real quick in, in just a second. But apart from that, I'm gonna go ahead guys and I think I'm gonna add a few more of these little areas down here. I'm gonna add, probably bring a llama or two down here. Maybe bring another donkey as well. I've been bringing the donkey as, the, the donkeys as I go, so. I'm going to go ahead, folks, and do a little bit of that, and I'll bring you guys back for a progress update in, in just a moment. All right, everyone, it is done. Let's head down the little staircase here, and we'll check out the three other spots that I made. So I decided to only fill one of them with llamas. I have more donkeys, and it just made more sense, made it easier to just move donkeys in here. So this is the first, I guess, the only llama one. You can see they have chests on the sides, so... I hop into here, you'll be able to see there's a little bit of storage here, but honestly not all that much. This is more for aesthetic purposes anyways. We head down here. It's a little more of a ways to get to the next one. I decided to go a little further down for the two last donkey ones down here, just because they'll be closer to where I would actually be mining if I was actually using this area. Right here, right next to one of the geos right here. And so all these are done pretty much the same with of course, the slabs and the hay bales and the dirt and, and whatnot. You'll see here is where we've started to add some um, deep slate, which is mainly because we're starting to get to the deep slate area. So, yep, this donkey is pretty much the same as the first one. And then if we head down a little bit further, we can actually probably hop down straight into the water here. 
I gotta remind myself that I can actually hop down into there. <laughs> I'm always too scared to, which kind of makes sense in hardcore, but it is pretty safe overall. But the last donkey one is right here. All deep slate with some hay, with some hay bales here and some dirt at the bottom. But yeah, those are all of the aesthetically uh, added animals <laughs> to this mine shaft. And that means that this mine shaft is pretty much done. I may still add some vines. I may still add a few small things here and there. Honestly, the only thing is probably going to be vines. I can't imagine I'm going to want to add any more to this and just kind of call it done for now. Um, I say for now, but call it done period <laughs> so we don't keep revisiting this and we can move on to other projects but yes ladies and gentlemen that is going to wrap things up here for today hopefully you all enjoyed the updates once again if you guys haven't checked out the most recent world tour make sure you do that'll be a little more in depth about the whole world if you're new around here and or have missed some time whether you haven't been in the streams or you've just missed some of the videos um, definitely recommend checking that out. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. But I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.